Today's generation of young people is the largest in history. Over 3 billion people of the world's population are under the age of 25. Almost 90% of these young people live in developing countries, including Kenya, where 75% of the population is under 30 years of age. These young people are most at risk of experiencing sexual and reproductive health issues, including STIs, HIV, early pregnancy and childbearing, sexual violence, among others. However, organizations, programs and policies targeting young people have largely been formulated and implemented without meaningfully involving these young people. Young people face different challenges and uh, people who are involved in making decisions on how programs are implemented how or how programs were supposed to be implemented were largely adults alone. But when they're making those decisions, they're not very responsive to the needs of young people. Initially, uh, you as a young person, when you entered a room, uh, a young person is just there for presence. But whatever you say in that meeting, whatever you contribute to that meeting, will never and would never be taken into account. The Center for the Study of Adolescents, CSA, has been implementing the Get Up, Speak Out, GUSO program since 2016. GUSO works under four core principles, which are meaningful youth participation, positive rights-based approach, multi-component approach, and gender transformative approach. I joined the CSA, Center for the Study of Adolescents, in the year 2017. After some time, I was among the people who were trained on meaningful youth participation or at an organizational level. CSA, they decided now to involve um, young people in the organization. We were trained, trained on how to engage meaningfully and how to participate meaningfully um, in all activities. So my experience with the meaningful youth participation, it, it's a good idea. A young person like me is being involved in matters decision making and like I'm able to make decisions jointly with adults or also make decisions independently. When we're doing planning we involve young people in the process so they also bring their views what they think and then in the process of planning they also choose activities they think they can participate in and do better when they are allowed to do it on their own or with the support of an adult. Elements must involve the young people in the following three. So we were undertaking on the importance of reaching out to adults when we need help, how we can reach out, how to be sometimes professional where, where it's needed. I was also taken through on how to do reporting, how to plan activities. I have been able to be trained on um, uh, social media advocacy, budget uh, advocacy. I've also been able to be trained about sexual reproductive health and rights. With MYP, you also learn the responsibilities, your responsibility as a young person in your organization, in your network. Many a time we always sit down to do documents that are for them, but we never include them. How do we ensure that we build up leaders of tomorrow if we do not start with them now? It really took time for the adults or uh, decision makers at the county level or even at the national level to understand what really young people want. And that is why meaningful engagement of them makes sure that they are walking the talk of policy guidance, governance and leadership. We are sure we are going to get leaders who have come from bottom to by building themselves because we have worked with them in managerial skills. So by including them and working with them in all spheres, it's very important. CSA has employed the MYP principle within the organization and in Nairobi, Kisumu and Bungoma within the program for the last five years and as the stakeholders witness, there has been a world of difference in the working environment. MYP has really helped me within the organization because most of the time we really need to work with adults and these have been one of the crucial um, things that really helped us grow and really implement meaningful youth participation into the organization. 
I've been able to participate in community outreaches and community engagements. And even uh, personally, I also have a, a coordination role, so I feel I'm being empowered and nurtured to be a good leader. I'd say I've really grown in terms of making decisions, participating in different levels of making decisions, be it at the organization, the county or national spaces, because I had some of the adults holding my hand and guiding me. It has also helped in reducing uh, teenage pregnancies and uh, it has also helped in um, reducing early marriages in Bungoma County. It grants you the power to talk and not just to talk but to act as well. I can take up even bigger responsibilities because I feel I am more empowered. I have more information right now. I have more skills. I have more capacity. And if it's now making our community a better place, I believe I am in a better place to do this right now because of MYP. It is our belief that MYP is a strong contributor to the success of GUSO and CSA as an organization and our hope that it can be adopted within other organizations implementing programs targeting young people. Going forward, I would recommend that we continue engaging young people from initiating a project or a, a, an idea of a program for young people, having them in the process of implementation and even final evaluation. I see now youths coming up with their own organizations, not just county-based organizations, national organizations. One thing that I really love to see is that other organizations and other institutes, structures should adapt the MYP and this will actually help with better implementation of anything. We have committed to support them and we will work with them. Whenever support they need, we will be there to provide whatever is needed and the future is bright and we believe in it.